welcome Aries. You just started your video on your own. I was just about to press it and it started. So welcome. <laughs> I always love your energy Aries because you always set the tone for the rest of the zodiac. So um, yeah, thank you. Aries, today we're going to be looking at actually what spirit wants to say to you. Okay, we are using the postcards from Spirit to start off with, and then we're using Whispers of Healing and Osho Zen Tarot. So let's get stuck into it. Aries, we'll get one card of the postcards from Spirit for Aries, please. One card. What does Spirit want to say to Aries? What would you like to say to Aries, Spirit? I really, there we go. There we go, Aries. Here it is. Are you ready? This is from Spirit. Dearest you, on Earth, humans learn about life by telling stories and creating new ones based on shared experiences. Eventually, after repeating one often enough, it becomes your main story that you use to define yourself and the world. So to get the answers you seek, you must get vulnerable and hear your story when you tell it. Ask, why do you tell it? Is it really true? What else can be true? Can you see the truth that spirit is in all things? Do you see how other stories overlap and intertwine? Spirit loves stories, for they are like blueprints for co-creation. So tell the one we know to be true about you. A story of courage, gratitude and honesty. Tell an empowered story about well-being, wisdom and grace. You will experience your world according to the story you tell about it. So make sure these stories you're proud of. Genuine, loving fan club. <laughs> I love that how they sign off like that. Spirit is your genuine, loving fan club, Aries. I love that. That is awesome and a great point to really think about, you know. Just listen to, to what you find yourself repeating over and over again and, and work out, do I want this to be true for myself or no? You know? Um, so, yeah. So, let's get some cards from the Whispers of the Healing Oracle deck, which is brand spanking new. I had a flick through them last night, and um, yeah, they're beautiful cards. So what have we got here? Choice. Uh -huh. Choice, yes. This is about what's coming out of your mouth, right? Look at the bubbles here coming out. What You know, this is exactly what your words represent here, Aries. What is it that you're putting out there? You know, this is going to create your whole entire world. Okay, and so it's very important because if you see here, there's different um, different pictures in each bubble, right? And it's sort of like sending your wishes out to the universe to be fulfilled. So it, it's kind of like what I'm seeing here is like sending the bubble out and there's nothing in it. And the words that you speak after is what is going to fill this bubble okay so be very conscious of that especially over the next couple of weeks be aware you know and just listen to yourself okay so we've got one card jump out here and it is stress okay so maybe interesting too because look at these bubbles that this person is standing on here and maybe you're under a lot of pressure okay um, maybe it is Aries that you're putting yourself under a lot of pressure 
from the words you speak. Oh, I have to do this. It has to look like this. It's got to be, you know, this way by this time, you know, and I feel like maybe there could be more flexibility um, in your life. Okay, the source. I feel like it is really looking at um, what is the the actual, sorry Aries, let me start again with that. Whatever is not working for you, try to get to the source of what it is that isn't working, okay? Um, I kind of feel like whatever you have been building upon, um, it's important for you to go back to the beginning of that and um, just tap into the initial passion and why you started it because I feel like you've gotten to a certain point where you're like, why am I even doing this? It's not where I wanted it to be. Why isn't it where I want it to be? And that's reflecting in what you're putting out there, okay? So it's very important for you to go back tap into that original passion and um, and bring that forth again because you've made progress and um, I feel like it might have come to a halt somewhat, maybe not a complete halt, but it's it's slowed. And, um, and maybe because now you're under so much stress with it, um, it's sort of like the passion is getting lost. So I think it's very important for you to go back and tap into that, okay? So next card for Aries, please. Next card for Aries. What have we got here? We've got two cards jump out here, which I will take because they are new. Okay, so we've got sensitivity and intention oh yeah um um i kind of feel like some of you may be feeling like um i mean sensitive obviously because that's what the card says but it's sort of like more than usual though um and because i think you're under stress maybe um, I just wonder if if your your sensitivity is heightened. Um, the other thing with that, Aries, is that you could actually be more tuned in at the moment than what you usually are. So you could use this to your benefit, okay? Um, I feel like when you um, go back and tap into the source of the passion of what it is that you um, have created, you may be able to be more open and aware to what it is that isn't working for you and, and maybe detect that moment where it kind of, you, you got overwhelmed and, um, and just see what you can do about that, okay? For some of you, Aries, I feel like you feel as though there's this need to protect yourself and hide away and... Um, yeah, it's kind of like, um, feeling quite worn down, actually. Um, we've got, we've got conditioning here, and we also have new vision, okay? So, um, with the, with this conditioning, I feel like it potentially could be the case that you've, you've started this venture, and, and look, this could be anything, it could be a business, it could be a relationship, it could be a hobby, it could be, you know, you could be building a new home or being saving to move somewhere and it was all exciting and now it's just become so stressful because, you know, you're under the, under the um, hammer to try and, you know, it could be deadlines at work, it could be anything, right? Anyhow, whatever it is, just apply it to you as if it's okay. Um, sorry, with this conditioning card, let me get this out first, um, I feel like whatever um, whatever area it is that you are working in or, you know, it's sort of like there's a, an expectation, 
in a sense of how that is meant to pan out and what that looks like. Say light, for example. I guess the easiest way to put it is um, a business, right? Or even a relationship. If you have a, um, a business, say you're in a clothing business, right? And there's a particular colour or style that everyone is after. And you feel like you have to follow that because that's what everyone wants. And yet this, there's this desire inside of you to create something else, a different style in a different colour. But you feel like you have to follow what everyone else is doing because that's what's popular. Things become popular by someone stepping outside of the box and actually changing it up. Some things don't catch on, other things do. So I think it's really important for you to allow yourself to experiment because maybe this is where you've lost your passion, okay? And it could be the same as a relationship. You could be in a relationship where it's like just the same old all the time. This is what everyone else is doing. This is what is expected of us. And um, you're like, that doesn't work. <laughs> I don't want to do that. I want to do this, you know. So just make sure that you are always following this, this source of the passion within you, okay? Rather than following the crowd, all right? Um, new vision, yep. Really, really kind of like going back to the drawing board and recreating things because, again, I feel like you've kind of, um, you. It, it's like, see these shapes here? It's sort of like doing a colouring in and you're colouring in inside of the lines and you need to colour outside of the lines, okay? Because what you're actually um, doing is holding yourself back. And, and you have these wings, Aries, that are meant to allow you to fly. But I feel in a sense, maybe because of this continual story that you tell, you're clipping your wings, right? Spirit loves stories, for they are like blueprints for co-creation, right? So what is it that you want to create? Okay, I, I really want you not to um, hold yourself back. And even if things aren't going well, if this is what you're continually saying, oh, things aren't going well, um, you know, then that is always going to continue. You know, and it's okay to be a little bit disheartened, but don't stay in that, okay? Things aren't going well. Let me tap back into the passion of why I started this to begin with. Okay, and let's see if we can create something new here. Let's see if we can expand and do something different from what we've been doing previously. Yes, intention. Intention. When you are telling these stories, what is your intention? Aries. Is your intention for sympathy? Is that what you're after? Are you looking for new ideas? Maybe that's your intention. What's your intention? What was your intention for starting whatever it is you started to begin with? What's your intention for doing it? What are you aiming towards? What's your ultimate goal? Right? Maybe you can backtrack a bit so that you can start moving forward here. Okay. Um, I feel like here, with this intention card, you'll be actually able to move yourself forward when you work out the intention of beginning it to begin with. And really, really think outside the box. Like, dream big, man. Like, be daring. You know, look at this. Creativity is at the bottom of the deck here. Be creative, Aries, because you are creative. You are very creative. So you have it in you, but I feel like what's happened is this stress has weighed you down and you've lost sight a little bit of um, the direction that you want to go in. I, well, yeah, uh, maybe not the direction you want to go in, but you, the passion is starting to, that, that flame is starting to dim um, because of the stress, right? 
So tell me more about intention for Aries, please. Okay, we've got, um, yep, we've got comparison has jumped out first here. Um, and again, this is you comparing yourself to everybody else, right, Aries? Um, the other thing I want to say about this is there's sort of this, um, there's this competitiveness going on. And I feel like that's not the best way to approach things. I feel as though there's this need to let go of that, okay? Um, because, yes, 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 especially when you're looking at intention, right? Say, if, for example, you're in a business and you want to help heal people, okay? As an example, this is your intention for starting it. This is your passion, why you wanted to start it to begin with, right? And you get into business and you start competing with other people who are in the same business because you want all the clients. But what would work better is to view it that you're all there with the same goal. There's enough people to go around everyone. So how is it that you can all work together and band together to help project things forward? Okay, um, I feel like there needs to be a shift in um, perception about things and um, I think you need to understand also Aries that everyone does things differently and the way that you do them compared to the next person there's nothing nothing wrong with how you're doing things it doesn't make you less than um, the, this other person may have more customers than you right but um That's because they've found their people. And for you, right now, the stress that is actually emanating from you is what is holding back your people from coming to you. Okay, I feel that quite strongly here. Suppression. Yeah, you're holding yourself down in a sense. This, um, These stories are not working for you. And I feel like spirit is very gently saying to you to try change the record in a sense. And I mean that in the most loving way. Okay. I really do. And if we have time, I will read that card at the end again. Um, but also, Aries, please come back during the next two weeks and, and listen to this because you may need help during the next couple of weeks with this okay and it will just help serve as a reminder for you and you'll get something different out of it every single time okay and Aries also please share these videos and subscribe and like and do all that jazz okay because the more people that these reach the more people will be helped okay because spirit has things to say and people need to hear it right okay so Aries, next card for Aries, suppression, look at this, suppression, not feeling like you can, it's it's sort of the suppression of not feeling like you can grow, of um, feeling very bogged down and weighed down, um, and I, I think this is the stress, um, and again, it, it's sort of like you feel like everything's going to give way, and um, you're not going to be able to achieve what it is you want to achieve. So I think it's very important to look at how you can change um, the way you're approaching things to help with that, okay? Because I think some of you sort of can't see a way out of it um, and maybe maybe it's going to be a matter of needing to hire someone new um, to actually bring in some new ideas and, and give you some new vision, you know, um, and go back to the drawing board. What would I do differently if I were to start this again? And, and, and approach it like that with what you know now, you know, because you can always do that, Aries. Okay, so let's just see if there's, okay, so we've got two cards here. Okay, so we've got growth. Yes, this is about you growing, not just in whatever it is that you're working at within yourself. Okay, um, 
and and whether it is the case because I think some of you are looking at do I even just stop and start again you know if that's the conclusion you come to please remember Aries that you know there's no failure okay fail stands for first attempt in learning right see it that way okay so that you can you can grow all right um and the next card we have here is transform but let's start with growth here um hmm. i think i really do think aries that it's important for you to um understand how far you have come okay and whether you choose to pursue this avenue or not or go in another direction it doesn't matter there's still been a lot of growth right um and i think it's it really is a matter of celebrating that for yourself um because i i also think that maybe it's the case that you're just looking at the negative and it's important for you to see the positive okay um so we've got inner voice here and we have participation yeah see this is what i was talking about before of maybe bringing other people in to to brainstorm you know to come up with new ideas what you know really start feeding off other people okay because sometimes we can get so stuck in our own minds going over and over and over it that we need to have a new perspective okay so that is something that may be beneficial to you Aries okay and the inner voice here yeah you see Aries this stress and um, the conditioning the comparison here the suppression right all these things are not allowing this inner voice to come through and speak. And I feel like maybe some of you are not even sure which direction to go in um, right now because the inner voice has been muffled by all these negative um, emotions. Okay, so I think it's really important for you. This is also why it's important for you to tap into the source of um, why you created what it is that you've created, okay, to allow this inner voice to speak. What is it that is in your heart here, Aries? Okay. Um, because the mind, it doesn't always serve us in the way we would like it to, to. I think you need to actually go a bit deeper and um, and really work out what it is that you're trying to build. Okay. What is it that you're trying to create? Yeah. Um, because I... I feel like, in a sense, that's been lost. The, the, you know, you've lost sight of what that is. You know it in your mind that you've lost the feeling of it, the passion of it, okay? What got you going in the first place, okay? Transform. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Um, this is transform here. Very interesting because I there's so many um, butterflies out here flying around, right? But there's these ones in this little glass bowl thing here, cage, I suppose you could call it. Yeah, in the cage. Okay, now they're in the cage. They don't realize that they can fly out of the cage. They're always going to be limited right, because that's what they've been conditioned to be, okay, um, and, and she's focusing on these ones, this is what I love, okay, this is what, I truly love this for you, Aries, this is great message, okay, so she's focusing on the ones that are stuck in the cage, she's focusing on the ones that aren't expanding and aren't growing, okay, but there's all these other ones that have They've actually um, transformed and they've broken out and they're flying, but she's just focusing on this. Okay, so this is such an important message for you. What is it that you are focusing on? Because I do feel like it's just the negative side of things rather than all the good things, right? And look, don't get me wrong, because I know that the negative can be very he heavy and it can be um, it can weigh you down but it's not going to help the situation because if it would then 
if it, if it could help the situation, then it would be helping the situation, but it's actually not, okay? And we also have understanding here. And I feel like this is also about you needing to transform, okay? Being stuck in the cage here, Aries, just like this, is not assisting you, all right? Um, allowing everyone else to fly, and it's sort of like you may look around you and see everyone else flying, and maybe you've had a part in helping them do that. But when's, when is it going to be your turn to fly? You know, you, it, it's it's easy to sit there and see things from the outside in someone else's situation. But when it comes to our own, it's difficult. And this is why I feel like it might be important for you right now to bring someone in with a fresh um, view on things. To kind of um, ramp things up for you a little bit. Yeah, see? Sorrow. Focusing on the things that aren't working rather than on what is good. You know, this is holding you back and um, this is this overthinking as well, Aries. I feel like maybe you might need a bit of a break, okay, and give yourself a bit of time off. And you might feel, might feel like, oh my God, there's no time, I can't ever do that. But the fact of the matter you will is that you will come back with a fresh view, okay? And I, I actually think... If this is a make or break situation, then it's it's there's no question about it. It's almost like a have to, you know, rather than a could. You know, maybe I will, but I think, you know, that if, yeah, I just kind of feel like that will help you come back. And maybe that will also help you to tap into the initial source of why you started this year. Okay, and we've oh, we've got two cards here, so I'm just going to take the top one. We've got acceptance, riding the wave. Look at this! this these are beautiful cards. I love this artist. Actually, my favourite artist in the tarot. Um. I feel like there's, 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 it's really important for you to accept whatever is happening, okay? Because um, it's sort of like you're resisting it in a sense. And when you just ride with it, it's going to be easier for you. It's going to be less stressful and less tiring, okay? And once you do that, it, that's sort of like making that shift in the energy. And once you do that, okay, you're going to be able to celebrate the success that you've had, you're going to be able to see the success that you've had. Because right now that seems to be clouded, okay? Because you're only focusing on the cage. You're only focusing on what's not growing. So this is so important for you, okay? Um, and look, everything has its ups and downs. It can't always be up, okay? This is part of life. So be really um, vigilant in not staying in the down here, all right? And look at this, we are the world. You know, Aries, you can create the most amazing thing that you ever dreamed of, okay? The world turns. Sometimes it's up and sometimes it's down. So always remember that, okay? There's the downturn and there's the upturn, okay? So Never, ever forget that Aries. So let's have another read of this. Dearest you, on earth, humans learn about life by telling stories and creating new ones based on shared experiences. Eventually, after repeating one often enough, it becomes your main story that you use to define yourself and the world. <laughs> So, to get the answers you seek, you must get vulnerable and hear your story when you tell it. Ask, why do you tell it? Is it really true? What else can be true? Can you see the truth that spirit is in all things? Do you see how other stories overlap and intertwine? Spirit loves stories. For they are like blueprints for co-creation. So tell the one we know to be true about you. A story of courage, gratitude and honesty. Tell an empowered story about well-being, 
wisdom and grace. You will experience your world according to the story you tell about it. So make sure there are stories you're proud of. Genuinely, genuine loving fan club. Oh, that's gorgeous. Wow, Yuri's. I'm going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.